Uh, Jack Taylor, the uh, chair of the West Essex Minor Federation Football League. Uh, Essex FA have a silent weekend every year, but now your pilot scheme is taking things a step further. Tell us a bit more. So we're really excited to be piloting our new scheme, which is limiting the number of times you can call your child's name. The reason for this is quite simple. What we've seen with the silent weekends is kids are allowed to play. It gives them a chance just to focus on the game. There's no distractions. Obviously what we've seen is if you continue to shout out, the coaches aren't being heard, the kids are getting distracted, this gives them an opportunity to really, really focus. So here we are at the one that we call the Phoenix Fields. The game's in operation. Yep. Uh, I can hear mums and dads shouting their names. What happens now? So what's going to happen is our matchday delegates are taking a listen. They're hearing the number of times a child's name is called. That parent is involved. They're going to alert one of our representatives who will be at these games going forward over the next few weeks as we trial this process out. And then if we get to a point where the person is called maybe five times, we're going to then give them a warning. A sixth time, they'll be getting a yellow card. And on a seventh, we'll be sending them off. Now, there's a woman behind you. I've been watching her in the second half. I've heard her. In fact, let's just go over to her and, and see yep. what, what she's saying. Yep. So um, I think she's said, well, let's ask the lady. Excuse me. Hi. Um, FA here have got a new system about uh, how many times you can shout your child's name. I think you've shouted your child's name four times, apparently. What, what, the chairman, what happens now? So what's going to happen is, you've been calling, we've heard Charlie, we've had that lockdown. Um, so fifth time is fine, once you've done that fifth call, what we're going to ask you to do is not shout that name anymore. Once that game's finished, we reset and you start again. Unfortunately, if you do continue to shout his name, one of us will be forced to give you a yellow card. If you then persist, very similar to a player, if they persist and you foul, we're going to be looking to give you a red card and we will ask you to go to your How do you feel about that? Well, I'm loads of rubbish. I'm here to support my child. I mean, I'm not counting how many times I've been calling his name. How are you keeping track? Uh, I'm actually going to let you do that first. And you'll send me off? Yeah. If we need to. We're hoping we won't. What we want to do is allow the children to focus on play. So we've just been told you've shouted your child's name five times. Another time, you'll get a... It'll be a yellow card. Okay. And I won't be able to watch? So, no, once the yellow card's fine, that's just that warning from us. Obviously, if it persists, then a red card and we would ask it to go off. Ridiculous. Go, Charlie! Go, Charlie! Right, so as we've said, Tracy, that's the warning. Obviously, any more times, we will be forced to send you off, okay? <laughs> yes, Charlie! Right. Go on, boy! Tracy, I'm really sorry. Um, as we've mentioned, that's now persistent. Oh. So based on that, we are going to have to give you a red card. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, that's it. Go. I'm just supporting my child. 